Because even as we speak today, a whole number, a lot of people feel that they've not been properly accommodated in revenue allocation in the country. Hence, we are going to be talking about conflicts over revenue allocation. Like you may know, if you go to places like the Niger Delta, a lot of people there are agitating that the mineral resources that greases the wheel of the country is gotten from their region. And that they do not have anything to show for that. You see, deplorable state of the road, you see the total life of people there is nothing to write home about. As a result, people like that take to pipeline vandalization and of course bombing some of the facilities that are meant to help the nation. This has been a problem of revenue allocation. Certain other people in other regions feel that they are not properly accommodated. So the issue of revenue allocation is far from being solved. Now that is not all. We shall not quickly go into minority issues and the creation of states. Part of the revenue allocation results from the issue of minority problems. What do we mean by these minority issues? Of course, you know that the major ethnic group in Nigeria are Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. The minor ethnic group include the Tib, the Isakiris, and other people in the south southern region of Nigeria. These people feel that they have been sidelined. As a result of that, they keep on agitating for state creation to accommodate them. And of course, those of us who feel that we are part of the major ethnic group continue to live in fantasy because it is believed that the major ethnic group, the Yorubas, the Igbo and the Awusas, are the people enjoying the largest, the national cake, while the minority, minority ethnic groups have been kept at the background. As a result of this feeling, the agitation for state creation is far from being solved. Even after 36 states have been created, people are still agitating for the creation of more states. Now, what are the reasons for the creation of states? We shall talk about just one. The major reason for the creation of states is to tackle the issue of minority domination. So that those who feel that they are the minority group are accommodated in the spheres of things. And that is all for issues concerning revenue allocation and revenue concerning minority issues. The next will be inter-ethnic rivalry and issue of sexation. Nigeria, like I said earlier, being a multicultural, multi-ethnic society, one cannot dismiss the fact that oftentimes you would hear stories about inter-ethnic problems, inter-ethnic rivalry. This has been a bane in the progress of Nigeria, has even acted as a club in the wheel of our success. Of course, we know that the question of leadership has been a problem. But because it is believed that any ethnic group that provides the leader, especially at the center, such ethnic group becomes favored. And so you hear the saying, first of all, present a leader, and every other thing will be added to you. And because of that, everyone wants to be a leader. All the major ethnic groups, including the minor ethnic group, just sold every four years to provide a leader. So that, of course, the national cake, the, the chunkiest part of the national cake is given to them. And this just so to provide the leader when actually we need one among so many has caused a lot of, a lot of inter-ethnic rivalry and of course the issue of succession. A number of people have decided to go to break off from the national government and form a government of their own, which is of course what we witnessed in the year 1967, who led to the about 30 months war causing the life of a whole lot of persons. Now that takes us directly into problems of succession in Nigeria. The proposal to separate Lagos from Western region almost made the Yoruba to succeed. Such proposal could have led to the Yoruba succeeding from Nigeria. That would have caused the corporate, that would have damaged the corporate existence of Nigeria. Of course, we know that because of the motion for self-government moved by Anthony Enauro of the AG party in the year 1953, almost made the Afsa Fulani to succeed. Because they felt that Nigeria was not right at the year 1956 to, to become to rule themselves. So because of that, they felt they needed to, to break off. That would have led to a succession. And of course, the only succession threat that was carried out was that made by the Igbos in the year 1967, which led to, as I have said, 30 months war from 1967 to about 1970. Now, what measures should be taken to avoid succession in Nigeria? Two main important things need to be done. One, 
equitable distribution of resources. Those who feel that the resources are not evenly distributed, that they are not getting enough, who decide to break off. Those who feel they are cheated or poor want to go off and form a government of their own. But when wealth, when resources, when revenues gotten from the country is evenly distributed, people feel satisfied and may not think of breaking off. The next is good leadership. When the head becomes rotten, as they say, the entire system goes totally bad. When we have good leadership, no doubt the flip side is good followership. These are two important things that must be tackled before we get it right concerning the avoidance of succession in Nigeria. The next is development of political parties in Nigeria. This is a totally new topic. Development of political parties in Nigeria. Of course, we have countless, countless number of political parties in Nigeria springing up, as you, if you like, like mushroom. What led to this development? What are the precedents, the precursors, if you like, to the development of these political parties? First, we want to talk about origin of these political parties, the ones we have today, and of course, the ones we had before independence, after independence, during independence, and of course, after independence. Pre-existing tribal and cultural association groups and trade unions metamorphosed into political parties, like the Jamia Mutanem Araway, Arawe Forum that led to the NMPC, MPC rather, that's the Northern People Congress, and of course the Ewe Omo Oduduwa Congress that led to what became the Action Group, which became uh, the party from where we got Antonio Nahoro, who actually moved the motion for self government in 1953, projecting it to happen in 1956. Of course, like I said, that the political parties we have today developed from the cultural association cultural groups and trade unions that served their purposes when, when they did. Now, we shall now go over these political parties. We shall start with the NNDP, that's the Nigerian National Democratic Party. This party was formed in the year 1963, and it won all seats allocated to the Lagos, to Lagos rather, in the Legislative Council, in the elections of both 1923, 1928, and 1933. The next party we want to look at now is the Nigerian Youth Movement. This was formally called the Lagos Youth Movement in 1934, but in 1935, the name was changed by to Nigerian Youth Movement. The party was formed by a group of young Nigerians led by Ernest Ikoli, Samuel Akinsanya, and Dr. J.C. Vogel. Among the major aims of the North Nigerian Youth Movement was to gain independence for Nigeria. And of course, they led um, the protests to revisit the recruitment of persons into the civil service because the civil service had a plethora of white people working in the civil service. So one very important thing the Nigerian Youth Movement did was to say no to this. Blacks need to be recruited into the Nigerian civil service. And that was quite uh, successful. The next is the Ni National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon, which was actually changed to National Council of Nigeria, of Nigerian citizens in the year 1960. So in the year 1944, what we had was National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon, but in the year 1916, the name was changed to National Convention of Nigerian citizens. Herbert Macaulay was the first leader of this party. Among their aim was to achieve self-government. Of course, Nandi Azikiwe was um, the Secretary General of the party who took over after the death of Herbert Macaulay. The next party is the Action Group. This party is often said to be the opposition party during this era, that is, the Action Group party. This party was formed in the year 1951. And of course, like I said, that most political parties emerged from the cultural and trade union groups. The Action Group is one of such parties. It is from the conversion of the Ewe Omo Ojuduwa, a Yoruba cultural organization. It is from this cultural organization that the Action Group party was formed. The main aim of this party was to challenge political dominance of the NCNC. And of course, watch.